Generals, ground ops, oral questions. Name at least three possible hazards that may be encountered during typical ground operations, such as during engine runup or taxi. The possibility of fire during engine start, turning propellers and rotors, prop or jet blast, jet inlet areas, other aircraft, vehicles, people, or obstacles, FOD like rocks, gravel, rags, and hardware, noise levels, hydraulic lock and radial engines, and tail wheel aircraft weather vaning. What is the most generally used knot for tying down small aircraft? The bowline knot or other anti-slip knots may also be used. Describe the precautions that should be taken to protect life and property while starting and running an aircraft engine. Study the procedures in the airplane flight manual. Be sure the propeller or inlet area is clear and check for loose stones, gravel, etc. that could be sucked into the proper engine. Also ensure that the prop or jet blast doesn't blow into hangars or other airplanes and have a fire guard nearby. If an engine induction fire occurs while starting a recip engine, what procedure should be followed to extinguish the fire? Continue cranking the engine to start it and suck the fire into the engine. If the engine doesn't start and the fire continues to burn, discontinue the start attempt and extinguish the fire with a suitable fire extinguisher. What safety procedures must be observed when hand propping a small aircraft engine? Become thoroughly trained have a qualified person in the cockpit, check the brakes, call switch off before moving the prop, and make sure that you have solid footing. When ready to start, call contact and listen for the reply. Then swing the prop with the flat of your hand and move back from the prop arc. What procedure should be followed prior to starting a large radial engine to detect and or prevent a hydraulic lock in the cylinders. Pull the propeller through by hand for three or four complete revolutions. Resistance to the prop turning would indicate a possible hydraulic lock in at least one of the cylinders. What is the cause of hydraulic lock in large radial engines? Oil seeps by the piston rings and accumulates in the combustion chamber of lower cylinders. When a piston comes up on its compression stroke, the incompressible liquid seizes it. What is meant by the term hot start when starting a jet engine? Ignition occurs with an excessively rich mixture leading to a rapid temperature rise that can exceed the exhaust gas temperature limit. When towing an aircraft, should you use the tow vehicle or aircraft brakes to stop the aircraft? The tow vehicle brakes should be used, except for in an emergency, then the aircraft brakes may be used. Why should an aircraft technician become familiar with standard light signals? Light signals may be used when taxiing an airplane without a radio or when a radio becomes an operative on a tower-controlled airport. If a mixture of aviation gasoline and jet fuel is used in a reciprocating aircraft engine, what are the possible results?
Avgas contaminated by jet fuel must not be used in piston engines. The engine may be damaged or destroyed. What does the number 100 signify in 100 LL aviation gasoline? It refers to the lean mixture performance number for octane rating of the fuel. Is it permissible to use avgas in a turbine engine? Limited operation may be allowed by the manufactured. Continued use may reduce efficiency due to lead deposits on the turbine blades. What are some of the possible outcomes of using a lower grade of avgas than the specified grade? An increased chance of engine damage due to detonation, loss of engine power, and an increased probability of overheating. Part 23.973 of the FAA regulations specifies that certain markings must be placed adjacent to the fuel filler openings. What markings are used for reciprocating engine powered airplanes? The filler openings must be marked with the fuel grade and the word avgas. Describe the important precautions that should be observed when fueling an aircraft. Be certain you are using the correct fuel, properly ground the aircraft and refueling unit, and protect the aircraft structures from hose and nozzle damage. The marking requirements for oil filler tank openings are specified by FAR 23.1157. What markings are required for a piston engine powered aircraft? The word oil and the permissible grades and or types or reference to the appropriate airplane flight manual for permissible grades and or types. Where can the standard aircraft taxi hand signals be found? In the Aeronautical Information Manual or AIM. Under what conditions should a recip engine be pre-oiled? Prior to starting a new engine, or one that has been preserved for storage, this ensures adequate lubrication on initial startup. Under what conditions may automobile gasoline be used in an aircraft engine? Only if approved by the FAA, usually by the issuance of a supplemental type certificate. What are the indications of water in an aircraft fuel after draining a sample from the fuel sumps? The sample may have a cloudy or hazy appearance or a solid slug of water.